Welcome back, everybody. We're here with someone you know very well, Mr. Randy Little from over at PFI. Here to talk to us about something that we've not talked about before. No, it's the first time. Larry Black, Larry's Country Diner. Right. Good friend of On yours. your network. Mm -hmm. Good friend of mine. Came out with a book. And I said, you know, Larry, you got a lot of friends. And a lot of people want to know about the history. So we got 500 copies in at the store ah. between now and Christmas. Uh -huh. And it's a cool read. I haven't got to read it yet because I just picked it up. I did read one comment that, that I did call him out on. Really? But yes. Yeah, because there's three sponsors. Oh. Uh, there's me and Gus and Ann. And Ann, in the quote, and I, and I sent it to Ann, I found it. He says, well, of the three sponsors, Ann is the smartest. Oh. Now, I'll get it. <laughs> right in print. Right in print. And I, I, I text <laughs> Ann, I said, you know, I'll give you that you're the cutest. Okay. But the smartest, you know, I'm going to question a little bit. Larry but tells I, it like yeah, it is. He I did. Like I guess he here. did. No, Larry's so, a great yeah, friend. And it's called The Cameras Weren't Always Rolling. So this is mm -hmm. a lot of sort of behind the scenes. Behind the scenes. It's from beginning of a life. When he was here at KICK Radio right. many years ago. Mm -hmm. Starts back in the mid-60s. Went to school here. He went yes. to school here. Found his wife here. And, the, you know, he's got, it's a great history. It's talks about how Larry's Country Diner got started and his whole life. And it's uh, very interesting. There's some good chapters in it. Sounds like a fun holiday read for yeah. sure. But now this this is a memoir very much that you can identify with yes. because of the ATV accident. Yes. You were involved yes, in. Yes, I didn't really want to be involved in. Not, but but uh, we went over a little hill called Small Mountain. Yeah. And uh, we spent some time in uh, Billings, Montana, in a hospital. And uh, he put he referenced that in there too. Um, mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's a... Um, it's a time that both him and I probably should have died, but we didn't, so we're here. Yeah. So it's um, mm. and it's good, and actually, we're really great friends. So yeah. it's not. Oh, obviously. Well, you yeah. know, so many even people. Even if he backed me off the mountain, we're still good friends. Even though he, it was <laughs> his fault. Yeah. Right? And, and okay. so many people know him from from Larry's Country Diner, but he is, I mean, a, you know, a pivotal point in a lot of country music out there and oh. everything. I mean, he brought all the big stars together so they could bring their big hits out again, things like that. And, yeah. and he, re, he redid it again. Yeah. And all the people that give talk about him in the book about how he's brought country music back. Mm -hmm. And people don't realize Larry was in like 30 different movies. Yeah. Oh, I didn't realize yeah. that. Well, it says that it talks yeah. a lot about his acting career, and I thought, well, there's probably something I he's missed a, there because I don't, I don't well, know what he's, all he's in. Yeah, well, he's, you know, some that you could figure out, but one of them that was in in the heat of the night. Oh, really? really? Yeah. Now I got to look again. Yeah, he, I mean, he played a really gruff part in that movie. Okay. And opposite of Larry's, he was a great actor. Yeah. Uh, Ernest goes to camp. He's in several films. Really? Those. Yeah. <laughs> I had uh, no idea. But he's a, he's a genuinely nice man. Yeah. I mean, you know, I've had the privilege of meeting him, and you know, he just kind of opens up the place and talks with you mm -hmm. and has a good time. Larry is one of those few guys that's real. Yeah. You know, and there's not that many of them around. He does a great job. So you've got a limited. Uh, we got a limited edition. A few hundred of these at the store. A few hundred and at that's the it. store just now between now and Christmas, and we've got them out, and. Uh, uh, we're excited about selling them and having a good time with it. I think this sounds like a great Christmas read. There are also lots of pictures in here too. I'm yeah. noticing, which I think would be fun if of you're into artists. the music and the artists and the different things. So and the comments of it from this is going to be yeah. This is going to be there. You are. Look at you smiling. I, right you there. found the my one that. and only shot. One yeah, and only nice picture right there. These were in the same shirt too. What's I could the deal? be. You oh know? my gosh. You know that's pretty it's a good. good shirt, <laughs> must I be I like it, huh? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Larry's Country Diner. Pick Larry one up at PFI. That's going to be a dandy for sure. And thanks for the Buddha Day deal. We're having fun with that. You know, I noticed my guys who came up with this. I came up with it, but I thought we could give away some cheaper boots. Yeah. But they're not. They're giving away the good stuff. They're giving oh, all no, no. the good boots away. <laughs> and it's a fun promotion. And, uh, you know, I'm glad we did it. But I tell you, there's a lot of boots going out every day. Yeah. You know, I'm glad Christmas is coming around the corner. Yeah. There's Stop this where process. that came from. <laughs> all right. Thank if you. If we don't see you before then, Merry Christmas. Well, yes. Merry Christmas to you guys, too. And thank you guys you. do a tremendous job every day. And you always make him look better anyway. Why, thank you. I try. <laughs> not sure if I'm supposed to say thank you or not. Anyway. <laughs>